All right, welcome to Saturday Vinyasa Flow. Have a strap handy or a belt um, and even some blocks as well if you know that you like them in um, half splits. All right, let's start on our mats in child's pose. Your knees can be wide or narrow. If the knees are more narrow, maybe you bring the hands along the sides of the body. If you have your hands extended out, you can soften your elbows. And let's begin connecting with our breath. During this practice, we are breathing in for three and out for three. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. Try to stay grounded in this balanced breath so that even when we're moving through difficult poses, we're still retaining that inhale for three and exhale for three. As you breathe, connecting with your physical body, knowing that your yoga practice is always your own. You're allowing any wisdom that your body is offering to rise to the surface. And then you're taking that wisdom and translating it directly into practice. Breath in and breath out. Before we start our physical asana practice, we can connect with intention. I have an intention to offer you this morning. An intention is from the deck, one of the decks I have, and the word is companionship. When you fully bless and embrace your aloneness, you're ready for the ones who are meant to be with you. May I welcome the solitude, knowing it will open the way for all healthy relationships. I'm going to read that once more. Companionship. When you fully bless and embrace your aloneness, you're ready for the ones who are meant to be with you. May I welcome the solitude, knowing it will open the way for all healthy relationships. So if that is something that's speaking to you this morning, go ahead and bring that into your space, aligning with it for your intention. One more breath in and breath out. On your next breath, find your way to downward facing dog. Shifting into a table first, bringing the hands so that they are shoulder width apart, tucking the toes and reaching the hips up for the ceiling or the sky. Your first downward dog. I like a lot of movement. If movement feels good for you, find that. Or maybe you prefer stillness. Whatever you're choosing, really breathe in for three and breathe out for three.
consciously pressing into the tops of your palms, finding a little bit of lift out of your wrist. Chest and belly start to gravitate towards your thighs. Knees can be bent or straight, your choice, listening to your hamstrings. If the legs are straight, engage thigh muscles. And remembering your core, draw your navel in and zip the rib cage together. Those are two separate actions. See if you can notice the difference. Bringing your rib cage back together in the front. Breath in and breath out. Inhale, bend your knees and lift your head. Look at the space between your hands, soften the elbows. Notice if you're still really pressing into the tops of your palms. Pull the tummy in, rib cage comes back together. Exhale, downward facing dog. Full cycle of breath in and out. Let's do that maybe twice more. Inhale, bend your knees, dropping them closer to the mat, lifting the head, looking at the space between the hands. Now you can decide, now you can have your knees a little higher or for more challenge, you can drop them down even deeper. Breath in for three. And on your exhale, lift the hips down dog. Full three count breath in. And three count breath out. Inhale, bend your knees, lift your head. Stay here. On your next exhale, come into ragdoll pose. Feet at least hips width apart, if not wider. You are generously bending the knees, releasing the upper body, allowing the head to feel very heavy and relaxed. Option to grab opposite elbows or even sway the hips side to side. Breath in and breath out. Breath in, breath out. One more breath in. On your exhale, heel toe your feet so that they are hips width apart. Soft knees, and then you're gonna roll up on your out breath. So rolling up, super controlled, one vertebrae at a time, pulling the navel in. Tucking the chin towards the chest, all the way at the top, mountain pose. Bring the hands to the sides of the body, palms are facing away. Find strength in our mountain pose. So there's energy up the feet. Your feet and toes are grabbing at the mat. Your kneecaps pull towards your hips. Navel draws in. Tailbone lengthens towards the floor. Front ribs come back together chin is parallel and breath in and breath out so even in mountain pose it doesn't necessarily look like there's a lot going on but if you're really engaging and squeezing it can be very active one more breath in and breath out inhale take the hands high reach up exhale forward fold, hinging at the hips, lead with your chest, knees are still soft here, all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, back is flat, crown of the head lengthens forward. You decide knees can be soft or strong and straight. That energy is still pulling up through your feet, feet are strong with the floor. Bring the shoulder blades together and towards your tailbone. Breath in, breath out. One more breath in. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Soft knees. Inhale through the nose. On your exhale, roll up. Navel to spine, chin to chest. At the top, Tadasana, mountain pose, hands at the sides, find the energy, pull up through the feet, strong core, rib cage, tailbone lengthens towards the earth. 
And a full three count breath in. And a three count breath out. On your next inhale, take the hands high, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, hinging at the hips, leading with your chest all the way down. Inhale, half lift, flat back, looking at the big toes, energy of the legs, shoulder blades come together and towards the tailbone. On your exhale, forward fold. I'm going to do that once more. Breath in through the nose. Exhale to roll up, navel to spine, chin to chest, knees are soft. At the top, mountain pose, hands at the sides, palms facing away. Get strong, strong in the feet, legs, belly. Breath in, breath out. On your inhale, hands high, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank, jump or step back. Finding your high plank, remember you have an option to drop to the knees or even the forearms. Whatever you're choosing, stack shoulders, elbows, wrists. Squeezing thighs, pulling tummy in, chin is open. Full three count breath in, three count breath out. One more breath in, press into the balls of the feet, shift your weight forward, exhale, lower yourself all the way to the mat, elbows, hug the body, inhale, baby cobra, zip up the thighs, plant the tops of the feet on the mat, so head, neck, and shoulders are lifted, focal point at the floor, option to take the hands off for a little extra for your low back, one more breath in, exhale, down dog. Downward facing dog. If you'd still like movement, find that or settle into stillness. Breath in and breath out. And we're really focusing and holding that three breath in, three breath out. On your inhale, take the right leg, reach it up. Keeping the hips squared, your right hip will want to open and stack on your left. For this little bit, I want you to really turn the right hip down, bring energy out the right foot either by pointing or flexing. Left knee can be soft or maybe straighten and engage the thigh. Breath in, exhale, right knee to forehead. Rounding back, tucking chin. Inhale, right leg high, lift it up, keep the hips squared. On your exhale, low lunge, right foot all the way through, low lunge, dropping down into dragon, left knee hits the mat, inhale, hands rise. On your exhale, you're gonna sink the hips and take the hands back into airplane. Let's stay here for a breath or two. In this dragon, you're not sinking all the way, not 100%, maybe about 80, 85%, so that there's some engagement. You're squeezing your inner thighs, drawing the navel into the spine, pressing into the feet. On your inhale, hands are gonna go up. You're gonna press into your front foot. On your exhale, sink down again, airplane the arms. Let's do that once more. Inhale, lift, press back. Exhale, float down, airplane. Stay here. One more cycle of breath. Strong, strong, strong in the lower body. And inhale, take the hands back up. Exhale, half splits. So half splits, straightening the front leg. Chest is lifted taking the shoulder blades, bringing them together and down towards your tailbone. Right thigh is strong, foot is flexed. Check out where your left hip is in space. If it has sagged off to the side, try to bring it back over the knee. Remember our focal point here is the hamstring. Breath in, breath out. Let's flow a little bit with this. Inhale, really lift your chest, arch 
the low back to go in a little deeper. Exhale, round, forehead drops towards the shin or the knee. Inhale to lift, open chest. Exhale to round. Once more, inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Shift yourself into a runner's lunge or a low lunge. The left knee comes off the mat. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, high plank, right foot steps back. Exhale, lower yourself all the way to the floor. Inhale, either baby cobra, or maybe you're ready for a bigger cobra, or even full cobra. For my practice today, I'm going to stick with a baby cobra. I want you to do what's best for your body. Hug your elbows in. Focal point straight ahead or either down at the mat, depending on if you're in baby or full cobra. On your exhale, down dog. Downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg high. Reach the toes up. Hips are squared. Left hip turns down. And you can point or flex the foot. Check out what's happening in the right knee. It can definitely be soft if you're feeling that hamstring yet. Or you can straighten it. Breath in. Breath out. One more breath in. Exhale, left knee to forehead. Shift your weight forward. Shoulders, elbows, and wrists are in alignment. Drawing the navel into the spine. Tuck your chin. Inhale, left leg high. Reach up. Keep the hips squared. Exhale to low lunge. Bring the left foot all the way through. Dropping the right knee. Inhale, dragon pose. On your exhale, sinking the hips, airplane the arms. Let's do that. Now let's stay here for a breath or two first. Let yourself settle in. So having energy and strength. So imagine scissoring the knees together, really pressing into both feet. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, push back, lift the hands high. Exhale, airplane. Sinking down deeper. One more. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, airplane the arms, allowing the hips to gravitate towards the floor, but not 100%, not all the way. On your inhale, take the hands up, reach for the sky. Exhale, half splits, hands come to the floor. Option always to have the hands on blocks, straightening the left leg, squeeze the thigh, flex the foot. Notice the right hip, try to bring it back over the knee. Open the chest, bring the shoulder blades together and down towards your tailbone. Big breath in. And on your exhale, round. Let the forehead gravitate towards the knee or the shin. Inhale to lift and open chest, trying to flatten the back as much as possible. Exhale to round. Once more, inhale, lift. Exhale, round. On your inhale, shift into a low lunge. So lifting the chest. Back knee comes off the mat to low lunge, high plank, breath in, exhale, lower yourself all the way to the floor. On your inhale, you choose what you want. You have the baby cobra, medium cobra, full cobra, you can even do upward dog if you'd like, really drawing strength in your core. On your exhale, find downward facing dog. Breath in and breath out. Inhale the right leg high, reach the toes up, square the hips. Exhale, knee to forehead, shift your weight forward. Push the mat away around your back, tuck your chin. Inhale, right leg high, reach the toes up. 
Exhale, low lunge, right foot all the way through. Inhale, high lunge or crescent lunge. Finding your form here. Check out your front knee, front knee tracking with ankle, pressing into the back foot so that your heel starts to stack over your toes. You might need to change your stance. In a crescent lunge or a high lunge, it's totally acceptable to have your feet wider. So they could definitely be as wide as your hips. We're gonna flow with our arms here. Breath in, exhale, airplane the arms, hinge forward. Let's stay here for a full cycle of breath. On your next inhale, take the hands back up. We're gonna do that two more times. Exhale forward. Once more, inhale to lift. Exhale forward. Stay here, full cycle, three count breath in. Three count breath out. Inhale, crescent lunge, come back. Exhale, low lunge, bring the hands all the way down. Low lunge, high plank. Flow through your chaturanga. Remember, if you would like to skip chaturanga, you can go right from plank to down dog. Your chaturanga, you're really listening to your low back as your guide, keeping your navel drawn in to support. Downward facing dog, breath in. Breath out. Inhale, left leg high. Reach the toes up. Keep the hips squared. The left hip is turning down. On your exhale, left knee to forehead. <laughs> left knee to forehead. Round your back. Tuck your chin. Shoulders, elbows, wrists in alignment. Inhale, left leg high. Reach it up. Exhale, low lunge. Left foot all the way through. Inhale, high lunge. Remember, you can have your feet wider in low lunges or high lunges if that makes it easier for your balance. Press into your back foot so that the heel stacking over toes. Check out front knee, front knee tracking with ankle. Shoulders are soft. Tummies in, rib cage knits back together. Breath in. Exhale, airplane, hinge forward. Full cycle of breath here. On your next inhale, reach the hands back up. Two more times. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, go forward. Stay here, full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, low lunge, high plank, flow through your chaturanga and in downward facing dog. Take any variation that you'd like. Still focusing on that breath, three in, three out. Downward facing dog, inhale the right leg high, reach the toes up, square the hips. Exhale, knee to forehead, around your back, tuck your chin. Inhale, right leg high, reach it up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high lunge. On our exhale, we're gonna step up into warrior three. So take another breath in. Set yourself up. Exhale, warrior three. Stepping up. Airplane the arms. Option always to have hands on blocks. Again, hips are squared. Left hip, turn it down. Energy out the back leg. Pointing or flexing. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. And breath out. Inhale, high lunge, come back, high lunge. We're gonna do that two more times. Exhale, warrior three, but we're not gonna hold this long. Warrior three. Inhale, high lunge. Last one. Exhale, warrior three. 
Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, low lunge. High plank. Flow through your chaturanga and in down dog. Downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg high. Reach the toes up. Keep the hips squared. Exhale, knee to forehead. Round your back. Tuck your chin. Inhale, left leg high. Reach it up. Exhale, low lunge. Left foot all the way through. Inhale, high lunge. Find your form. Get strong in your base. On your next exhale, step up warrior three. Airplane the arms, square the hips, energy out the right foot, either by pointing or flexing. Breath in, breath out. One more breath in, exhale, come back, high lunge. We're going to do that two more times. Breath in. Exhale, warrior three. Step up. Inhale, come back, high lunge. Last one. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, flow through your chaturanga. Remember, you're hugging the elbows into the body. Focal point is straight ahead if you're in a high cobra. If you're in low cobra, it's on the mat. Let's take a little breath here. Drop the knees. Child's pose. Cooling breath. Breathe in through the nose for three. And now, side out the mouth. Breath in. Exhale it out the mouth. Breath in. Exhale it out the mouth. Now with mouth closed, come back to breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. We're going to add on that pyramid. So when we're in down dog, and she will make her way back to that high lunge, warrior three, and then we're gonna step down into pyramid pose. When you're ready, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high, reach the toes up. Exhale, knee to forehead, round your back, tuck your chin. Inhale, right leg high, reach it up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior three, step up. And on your inhale, pyramid. So drop the leg down. Pyramid with windmill arm, or excuse me, airplane arms. So in your pyramid, your feet should be hips width apart. Knees can be soft if you have tight hamstrings. If the legs are straight, really engage the thighs. Breath in, breath out. Trying to flatten your back. Tailbone lifts. Crown of the head reaches forward. On your inhale, hinge at the hip. Take the hands, sweep them up. Press the feet into the floor. Exhale, airplane pyramid. Hinge at the hip, go forward. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, sweep up. Press the feet down. Exhale, hinge forward. All 10 toes are facing the same direction. I think that was our third one. Let's stay right here. Full cycle of breath in. Full cycle of breath out. On your inhale, hands high, reach up. Exhale, shift into a low lunge. So hands come down. Take the back foot, lengthen your stance. Low lunge, high plank, 
flow through your chaturanga or just end in down dog. Go from plank to down dog if you're wanting to skip the chaturanga. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, left leg high, reach the toes up, hips are squared. Exhale, left knee to forehead. Inhale, left leg high, reach it up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high lunge. Find your form. Exhale, warrior three, step up, airplane the arms. Breath in and breath out. Inhale, drop into pyramid, sweep the hands high. So hands are coming up. On your exhale, hinge at the hip, go forward, bring the hands into pyramid. I feel like I did not do a good job of cueing that. So if it felt funny to you, that was my fault. Stay here, full cycle of breath. Knees can be soft or strong and straight. Energy out the fingertips, crown of the head lengthens forward. Press the feet into the floor. On your inhale, sweep the hands up. Exhale, airplane pyramid. Two more times. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, airplane pyramid. One more. Inhale it up. Exhale, airplane pyramid. Stay here. Full cycle of breath in. Full cycle of breath out. Inhale, take the hands back up towards the ceiling. Exhale to low lunge, bending into the front knee. Step back with the right foot, low lunge, high plank. Flow through chaturanga and in down dog. Nice breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out to the mouth. One more breath in and exhale it out. All right, closing the mouth, bring the breath back in to the nose and out to the nose. We're going to go ahead and kind of stitch all of those pieces together. We did them a little bit separate. Now we're going to try to bring them into one flow. We'll see how it goes. Inhale, right leg high, reach the toes up. Squared hips. Exhale, knee to forehead. Inhale, right leg high, reach it up. Exhale, low lunge all the way through. Inhale, dragon pose, take the hands up. Exhale, half splits. Inhale, back to our dragon. And on your exhale, tuck the back toes, come up, high lunge. Full breath in. Exhale, warrior three, step up. Inhale, pyramid. So plant the foot down, take the hands high first. Find your form in your legs. Exhale into airplane pyramid. Inhale, hands back up. Exhale, low lunge, bend into the front knee, shift the left foot. Low lunge, high plank. Flow through chaturanga, end in down dog, or skip the chaturanga and go from plank to down dog. Downward facing dog, inhale left leg high, reach the toes up. Exhale low, low oh no, exhale knee to forehead, almost forgot. Inhale left leg high, reach it up. Exhale low lunge. Inhale, dragon pose, drop the knee, hands rise. Exhale, half split, straighten the front leg. Inhale, dragon. Exhale, high lunge, tuck the back toes, lift up, breath in. Exhale, warrior three, step up. Inhale, drop the back foot, high, I'm calling this high pyramid, 
Taking the hands high, legs are strong and straight. Exhale, airplane pyramid. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, low lunge. High plank, flow through chaturanga and in down dog. All right, let's try that sequence one more time on each side. Downward facing dog, inhale right leg high, reach the toes up. Exhale, knee to forehead. Inhale right leg high, reach the toes up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, dragon pose. Exhale, half split. Inhale, dragon. Exhale, high lunge. Tuck the back toes, lift up, breath in. Exhale, warrior three, step up. Inhale, high pyramid. Plant the foot, take the hands back up. Ten toes facing the same direction. Exhale, airplane pyramid. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, flow through, chaturanga. And in downward facing dog. Okay, left side, inhale, left leg high. Reach the toes up. Exhale, knee to forehead. Inhale, left leg high, reach it up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, dragon pose. Exhale, half splits. Inhale, dragon. Exhale, high lunge. Tuck the toes. Lift the back knee. Breath in. Exhale, warrior three. Step up. Inhale, high pyramid. Plant the feet, wide as the hips. Exhale, airplane pyramid. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, low lunge. High plank, flow through your chaturanga and in down dog. Take a breath in, and on your exhale, come into child's pose. Breath in through the nose, and now side out the mouth. Inhale, nose. Exhale, side out the mouth. Inhale, nose. Exhale it out the mouth. Mm, closing the mouth, bringing the breath, breath back into the nose, out to the nose. On your inhale, downward facing dog. On your exhale, walk your hands into your feet so you're at the back of your mat in a forward fold. Knees are soft. Let go of the head, the neck, and shoulders. Let it hang. If you want to bring your feet wider than your hips, go ahead. Take a breath or two here. And on your next exhale, just heel toe the feet so they're hips width apart. Inhale, half lift. Back is flat, shoulder blades together. Focal point at the big toes. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, reverse dives with the hands up. Exhale, bring the hands into mountain pose along the sides of the body. Breath in. 
and breath out. We're gonna make our way into that standing knee to forehead pose. So I'm gonna give you some options. So if you're using a strap, you can double it up. So if you're using a strap, I'm just gonna kind of go through these before you decide that you want. Bring it on the ball of the foot and it can be out low, like it could be out here. And then as you progress, maybe it starts to come up so that the foot is level with your hip. And then eventually, maybe you start to bring your forehead towards your knee. Really nice op option is if you have a couch or something, just, this is higher than a couch, but you can hike your leg up on the couch. You should make sure that your hips are squared. If you're not using a strap, you're gonna weight load your left leg, grab the sole or the sides of the right foot. This is also a prep, you can say right here. And then start to straighten your leg and bring the forehead down towards the knee. That's gonna be really challenging after all that work we just did. So you decide what you want. Weight load the left leg, either with a strap or grabbing the right foot. Start to straighten the leg, hand on foot or hand on strap. And maybe that this is enough right here. Otherwise, bring the forehead towards the knee. See how everybody's doing. Really, really nice, Maddie. Looks good. Just FYI, this is one of the most challenging poses in yoga. So if you're struggling, if you're like, wow, this is really hard, it is supposed to be really hard. Breath in, breath out. Let's take one or two more rounds of breath in through the nose, breathing for three, exhaling for three. Last breath, hang in there, three, and exhale for three. Go ahead, slowly release. Whoo, can maybe like swivel the hips, shake that out, and then weight load the right leg. Same thing, strap is gonna go around the sole of the left foot or the hands are gonna grab the left foot. You can always stay right here or start to straighten the leg and maybe bring the forehead towards the shin or the knee. Breath in, try to really focus on that slow breath in for three, out for three, nice Mary. See if there is still space to soften your shoulders. So your shoulders will want to creep up towards your ears. Like that just feels really natural to do. See if you can soften them. Breath in, breath out. One more breath in. Exhale, slowly release. Oh, shake that out. So if this is something you want to practice at home, I love to use like a couch, like the back of the couch, and just throw your leg up. This is higher than a couch would be, but keeping the hips squared. So your hip will wanna open, you're trying to still square, and then go forward. That's where you're gonna really open your hamstring, so it feels a little easier to get into that. Back of your mat, mountain pose. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, downward dog, walk the hands out. Downward facing dog, breath in and breath out. Inhale, right leg high, reach the toes up. Exhale, right knee to hands. We're gonna move into pigeon. Take your options with pigeon if you need the foot under the body or sweep it off to the left side of the mat. Settle the hips. So the hips are feeling even. Check out your back leg, hip, knee, ankle in the same line. Slight internal rotation. So the thigh turning in towards the midline of your body. Little action in this pigeon to start by pressing the mat away and scissoring the knees together. If you're doing that correctly, you're gonna feel yourself kind of lift, and pop up a little higher off the mat.
soft shoulders, but strong core. Breath in and breath out. Maybe push the mat away a little bit more. Try to take your left hip and bring it forward and your right hip and draw it back. Last breath in. Exhale, come into more passive pigeon if you want. If you prefer that taller, more active pigeon, you can stay there. Again, as you settle into this more passive pigeon, feel where the hips have gone. If they have kind of sagged off to one side or the other, bring them back. And you're letting go of all the things that don't need to be held within your body, not just your physical body, but your emotions and your mind. Maybe settle into your pigeon, softening around the opening. Breath in, and on your exhale, slowly walk the hands in towards your body. Tuck the left toes, knee comes off the mat, float into downward dog. Take a moment in your downward dog, notice your legs. On your inhale, left leg reaches for the ceiling. Exhale, pull your knee into your chest, keeping the variation if you need your foot under your body or sweep the foot off to the side. If for any reason pigeon doesn't work for you, you can always grab that supine pigeon on your back. Check out your back leg, hip, knee, ankle, nice line, slight internal rotation. The internal rotation comes from the thigh. Balance out the hips. Shoulders roll back. Strengthen your core. Knit the rib cage back together. And that strong, press the mat away. Scissor the knees. Breath in. Breath out. Take your right hip and pull it forward. And your left hip is going to draw back so that your hip bones are striving to become like equal that they're lined up. Breath in and breath out. One more breath in, exhale. If you want, coming into more passive pigeon, down on the forearms, resting the forehead on a block or the mat.
So breathing even in for three and out for three. One more breath in. Exhale, walk your hands and towards your body. You're going to shift your weight onto your left glute and sweep your right leg all the way around. Both legs are long. And then the left knee is going to bend and come on the outside of the right thigh. Try to sit up as tall as you can, crown of the head reaching for the ceiling. Right thigh is strong, foot is flexed. Right arm is going to grab the outside of the shin. You're going to rotate your chest while you hug this leg towards the midline of your body. Left hand, externally rotate, thumbs facing away from you. Look over the shoulder. Even three count, breath in and breath out. Breath in and on your exhale, slowly release, come back, send the left leg long, bend the right knee, bring it to the outside of the thigh. Engaging left thigh, foot is flexed. Let, sit up tall first, and then the left arm is going to grab around. You're going to rotate your chest while you hug your right leg in towards your body. Right arm externally rotates, thumbs facing away from you. Look over the shoulder. And breath in. And breath out. Notice if you're rounding your middle or your lower back, lift the chest. Breath in and breath out. One more breath in and exhale, slowly release. Come back, send both legs long. Sit up tall, inhale, hands reach for the sky or the ceiling. Lengthen spine, pull the rib cage away from the hips. Exhale, go forward, maintaining that length in your spine. Use a strap here as you need, or maybe soften the knees, or for extra, you can always take the block and bring it to the soles of the feet for a little something more. One more breath in, exhale, walk the hands towards the upper body, soften your knees, sit up tall, hands along the sides, breath in, stack shoulders and hips, 
Exhale, roll off. Take your time. One vertebrae. Slow, slow, slow. At the very bottom, take the arms overhead. Reach, stretch. Exhale, come into a ball. Hug everything nice and tight. Forehead to kneecaps. And on your inhale, find Shavasana. Whatever feels comfortable or good for you. Okay, we've got just a few minutes left of class today. As you settle into Shavasana, I have a visualization to match your breath. Because this is a morning class, I don't want to get you too relaxed. I want you to still have some energy when you're done. So we're going to keep the breath even for three and out for three. And then the visualization, you're going to start with imagining like a ball of light right at the base of your tailbone or your first chakra, the root chakra area. So bring that ball of light into your mind. And now on your inhale, as you inhale for three, you're gonna take the ball of light and send it all the way up your spine to the very top of your head, your seventh chakra. And then on your exhale, that ball of light comes back down to your tailbone. So really nice and simple. Inhale, ball of light travels up the spine to the very top of the head. Exhale, slowly comes back down, resting at the base of the tailbone. Trying to keep the breath even, float that ball of light up. And exhale, draw it back down. So that's your visualization or your focal point for Shavasana today. I'm going to give you some space and silence. And keep visualizing on the inhale, floating the ball up. Exhale, drawing it back down. To end this visualization, 
I want you to decide what you need today. If you need to feel more grounded and rooted to the earth, you're going to let your ball of light end in that root chakra. If you are feeling too connected to the earth and you want to feel more connected to the universe and source, you're going to end with that ball of light at your crown or the very top chakra, the very crown of your head. So decide what needs to happen for you today and then bring that ball of light to the corresponding place. And that's where you're going to let it sit for the rest of the day. One more breath in. And on your exhale, slowly bring your knees up towards your chest and make your way onto either side. Taking a moment to transition, resting your head on your bicep or pillow. One more breath in. And exhale, push yourself into an easy seated. Take a moment here and just bring your hands. Again, if you're wanting to ground yourself, palms are down. If you're wanting to be more open, receive, connect with the universe and source, palms up. And I will bring our collective intention back to mind, our collective intention of companionship. When you fully bless and embrace your aloneness, you're ready for the ones who are meant to be with you. May I welcome the solitude, knowing it will open the way for all healthy relationships. Just breathe that in once more and out. Bring your hands together. Go ahead and just rub your palms, balancing your energy. Press the hands into prayer. Bring the thumbs the sternum or the heart center, bow your head, thank you so much for practicing with me this morning, namaste, all right, thank you for joining me, I'm going to hit stop, my record,